Hello there. Welcome to my very special video on MTA weekend service changes for the weekend of March 24th, March 25th. We're going to talk about the subways in Queens. We're going to talk about the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Bayside. And we're going to be talking about the Long Island Railroad uh, service is going to be affected on three branches this weekend. So I'm just going to give the heads up. If you can this weekend, if you are taking the railroad, please use the South Shore branches to avoid chaos. Uh, I know I don't have to... I, I mean, I don't really want to say it, but there's no choice here. I'll, I'll get into that as we go along. So, Queens Express Subways are going to be running local. E-trains are going to be running local in both directions between Queens Plaza and Forest Hill 71st Avenue. Due to electrical improvements starting tonight at 11.30 and ending at 5 a.m. on Monday. There's also going to be an electrical improvement project on the F. So that means the F's going to be running local in both directions between 21st Street, Queens Bridge, and Long Island City to Forest Hills 71st Avenue. This is all due to the electrical improvement project on the express lines. So the trains will be making stops at the following stations. From both locations, might I add. The following stops will be 36th Street, Steinway Street, 46th Street, Northern Boulevard, Elmhurst Avenue, Grand Avenue, Woodhaven Boulevard, 63rd Drive, and 67th Avenue. So those will be the local stops that the E and the F will be making this weekend. So I know there's a lot of happy people who ride the... Uh, M and the are like, yoo-hoo, we actually get more local service this weekend. It'll be good for them if they want to go to the mall. I mean, I could understand that. So I'm sure I'm getting a lot of happy comments right now and some negative, negative Nancy saying, oh, well, I want to go express to the city. This isn't fair. Well, I'm sorry, but this is part of the subway action plan. They have to get the work done on the weekends. The MTA is a 365-day-a-year job. And this was part of the subway action plan that Joe Loda sent out last summer. Now, I will say this. There's some criticism with Patrick Nowakowski and the Long Island Railroad. But Andy Byford is trying to do his job, and this is part of it right now. This is part of the title description at New York City Transit. So I know there's going to be mixed reactions. I get that. But it has to be done so that way regular express service can resume on, on a Monday morning at 5 a.m. Is M&R service affected? Well, if you want to talk about electrical service improvements, no. Remember, this is only going to affect the E and the F lines this weekend. The M. The M train will actually be running during this project because the express tracks are going to be out of service this weekend. So if if you're familiar with it like I am, express trains run on a separate track along the M and the R. The E and the F have to run on the local track during the electrical improvement project. So the M is definitely going to be an option this weekend. Um, let's just say if you want to go to the mall from Jamaica this weekend, or if you want to go from anywhere else in Queens, uh, definitely this weekend, Queen Center Mall will be available from the Woodhaven Boulevard station via the E and the F this weekend. So keep that in mind. Now the R, however, that's a different story. The R trains are going to be rerouted via the F in both directions between 57th Street, 7th Avenue, and 36th Street in Astoria due to track replacement. So, for a few examples, for 5th Avenue, 59th Street Station, and Lexington Avenue, 59th Street Stations, you can use the nearby Lexington Avenue, 63rd Street Station. The good news is... The good news is, I can say this now, you can access that station via the R. That will not be a problem, I think. Uh, also, I believe the R will be making a stop at the 
of 57th Street, 6th Avenue in station. I'm not too sure about that. But yes, yes, the ARD this weekend is going to be stopping at Lexington Avenue, 63rd Street. That means because the F track is going to be affected with the R due to this situation, the following stops the R will be making this weekend from 57th Street, 7th Avenue will be the 6th Avenue stop, 57th Street, Lexington Avenue, 63rd Street, Roosevelt Island, 21st Street, Queens Bridge, and then continuing its regular route at 36th Street, Astoria. Now, here's the other thing I have to warn people about Queens Plaza this weekend. If you need service to Queens Plaza, if you need service, please take the E or the M train this weekend. Please, if you can, take the E or the M train this weekend. Also, another option could be to take the F. And I will go back to that point in a second. Actually, no, don't take the F, sorry. Right, the F doesn't go anywhere near there. Ignore that. Take the E or the M. Right. You can transfer at Times Square, 42nd Street, Port Authority, or the uh, Roosevelt Avenue station. So if you need, you need any service to Queens Plaza this weekend, please keep in mind, you are not going to be able to access Queens Plaza this weekend via the R until midnight on Sunday. Alright, so got that part over with. Now we're going to go to the St. Patrick's Day Parade in downtown Bayside. The first ever event hosted by the Village of Bayside. Now quickly with regards to parking. Alternate side rules are in effect tomorrow. So good luck trying to find a spot in Bayside. Well, one option can be the Long Island Railroad. You could take the Port Washington branch. And then just get off at the Bayside Station. But I have to bring up another thing in my Long Island Railroad slide later on in this video. The trains on the Port Washington Ranch are going to be running hourly service between Woodside and Bayside this weekend. We'll go into that later on in this video. The parade route will run along Bell Boulevard between 36th Avenue and 41st Avenue from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's tomorrow. March 24th. You have other options. Q12, Q13, Q31, and N20 buses are optional in this scenario. But I have to warn you, the Q13 and Q31 are going to be detoured. That will be the next slide. Your safe bet's going to have to be getting off by CBS at Northern and Bell Boulevards to access the parade route. Wah, wah. I know I'm sounding negative here, but I have to get into the detours starting tomorrow. It won't be that long, but I have to get into it. Northbound Fort Totten buses on the Q13 are going to be following its normal route on Northern Boulevard, then turning left on Corporal Kennedy Street, right on 26th Avenue, left on Bell Boulevard, then continuing on to its regular route to Fort Totten Park. Q13 southbound Flushing Long Island Railroad buses are going to be going to follow its regular route, Bell Boulevard, right on 26th Avenue, left on Corporal Kennedy Street, making a right on Northern Boulevard, then following its regular route to Flushing Long Island Railroad Station. Now, Q31 Bayside bound buses to Francis Lewis Boulevard, 27th Avenue. Following route will take place. Bell Boulevard, left on Northern Boulevard, right on Corporal Kennedy Street. Am I reading this right? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, like I figured, I'm reading this right. Right on Corporal Kennedy Street and following its regular route. So this is uh, Bayside bound buses. Jamaica bound buses. Via Corporal Kennedy Street, left on Northern Boulevard, and then making a right on Bell Boulevard, then following its regular route to Jamaica Long Island Railroad. 
Southern Boulevard Archer Avenue. Okay, so now we got that out of the way. We are going to discuss the Long Island Railroad. So what's going to happen on the Long Island Railroad, you may be asking. Well, that's why I bring up the Port Washington Ranch. It's going to be running hourly. Usually it's uh, half-hour trains that run on that branch, but unfortunately it's going to be hourly train service because of positive train control testing between Woodside and Bayside. Now, we also have to discuss the main line. That's why I'm saying, please avoid the main line this weekend if you need any access to the city. If you can, please, I am urging everyone to use the Babylon branch. I know it sounds a little bit snobby to be saying that, but in this situation, there's no choice. So let's discuss these issues. The testing of a new signal system designed to support the east side access Harold Interlocking in Queens. This is a pivotal step to this project. It's taking place to accommodate the work over the weekend. Service will be reduced. Service is affected as follows. Weekend train service between Huntington and Penn will be reduced from half hourly to hourly. But here's the bad news. Port Jefferson and Huntington service will be reduced from every 90 minutes to every two hours. So, you're screwed up there in Huntington. You're screwed, I'm sorry, but they have to get this work done. This is very important for the East Side Access project. And I understand that when Pine Power was at the uh, board, he, board member meeting on Monday, he was saying to Patrick Nowakowski, there's many, many projects coming along. And this is one of the examples right here. But they have to do it on the weekend. Because if you do it on weekdays, for people who normally commute, then their service gets impacted. And the last but not least, we have to talk about the cheese coming back. Uh, Buses are going to be replacing trains between Rock Hockama and Hicksville due to construction related to the double track project. The busing will begin at 12.50 this Saturday, March 24th, and continue through this Monday, March 26th at 12.46 a.m. The best thing I can do is provide a link to the Long Island Railroad Service Changes website where there's an individual category on your line this weekend. But again, I stress this out. Please, if you can, please, if you can, if you need service into the city this weekend, please take the Babylon branch. Please. It's very important that you do so. Uh, also, maybe the Hempstead branch of the West... Nah, I, I would strongly suggest not going to West Hempstead. Nah, don't even go to Hempstead. Just ignore that. Please, if you can, take the Babylon branch. Um, I'll quickly give another example. Um, if you're coming from Mineola or Hicksville this weekend, you know, if anything goes wrong, the N22, N24 is another option. But I'm just annoyed that uh, they're not. I, I'm going to say this again, and Pine Power, if you're watching, you're going to agree with me and saying with Matt Camper, they should not be putting adults on school buses. Why can't the MTA send its fleet of New York City buses to Hicksville, to Rockakama this weekend? You can send the coach buses the newer model Novas, the Orion 7s, no. Patrick Nowakowski wants you to ride a school bus. I'm sorry for raising my voice, but this is what Pine Power talked about on Monday. Okay, these passengers should not be on school buses. 
they should be transported via New York City transit buses. And yet the MTA refuses to send any of them out to Long Island. There are fleets of these vehicles in Jamaica, in College Point, in Queens Village. And Patrick Nowakowski wants you to ride a school bus. I will admit, last week, the right thing to do was not continue with the double track project because of the St. Patrick's Day Parade in Midtown Manhattan. I am pretty sure next weekend, because it's Passover and it's Easter, they will not affect service on the main line because you have people who are going to attend Easter Mass at St. Patrick's Cathedral and more importantly, people who are going to be attending the New York International Auto Show next weekend. So that's two reasons why the MTA has to continue with it this weekend. There's no big event in the city, so I could understand why they're doing it this weekend. But I'm just going to say this again, there should not be adults on school buses. Bottom line, it should be New York City buses sent out to Long Island, but Patrick Nowakowski doesn't want that. So there you have it. That's just uh, uh, service changes for this weekend with the MTA. I hope you were all informed. Uh, if you want to take notes, I strongly suggest you take screenshots on your phone. That's the easiest way you can do it. Again, Long Island Railroad uh, riders, please, I'm going to give you the link to the Service Changes website because if I provide individual links, it's just going to give me a headache. So, yep, that's where I end it. Uh, have a good weekend, everyone. Good luck taking mass transit this weekend if you're going to be using it. And again, Long Island Railroad, main line. Avoid it and use the Babylon Ranch. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Thankfully, tomorrow it's a different situation for me. If I uh, I have an event to go to in Long Beach, if my parents can't take me, I can just take the Long Beach Branch. So, thankfully, Noah Kowski didn't screw up the Long Beach Branch. So, there you have it. I wanted to laugh it off, so have a good weekend, everyone. Good luck. Take care.